I'm walking through the LAX airport right now. Okay, so it's noon. It's like 12.15. I still have three hours to go. And I just wrote a couple of short poems on six sticky notes. I'm going to put them on the mirrors. Probably going to get taken down, but like, why not be up to some shenanigans while you have time to kill, you know? six sticky notes I'm gonna go put them in various places. to Vienna! Wow. My roommate is in the shower. She's awesome. But this is our room. It's so, so cute. I don't know if you can really tell, but like when the windows are open, let me just show you. It's such a nice view. It's like that dream um, two window open into a courtyard type of vibe. Guys, it's absolutely stunning here. I'm living my European girl vibes. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you the whole room. Okay, so there's like two. Okay. And I think the dining room in there, but we haven't been in there yet. <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. But yeah, and like we wake up to the birds chirping and stuff. It's really pretty. But yeah. Hello, it's Martha and Curry Birds. 
Yeah, they, they put like mm. curry. Yeah, yeah like, so that's curry spice on top and then like a curry sauce. Okay, that's like, that was test because um well my roommate Claire is sick so I went to school by myself and also my host mom has been feeling sick so she sent in the message while I was in class and they pulled me out right after and they're like hey you need to go get a CPR test and I was like oh no so apparently she just wants to know um if there's what if I have anything so uh, on my way
make photos. These are these very famous magnificent, magnificent horses. Yeah? White horses, they are used for an only the stallions. Only the stallions perform, okay? Not the not the female mares. The mares. He's the highest ranked politician in Austria, but it is just he does not have the power. So here is my new pal. Pretty great. I feel so blessed because other two girls in my um, study abroad group, their names are Jennifer and Ivy, their host mom. Um, th she has an extra room, like two extra rooms in her house, and so she's letting me stay here. She doesn't have a problem with me here as long as I like, keep my mask on, wash my hands a lot. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so this is well, where I'll be until Sunday because I'm, like, staying away from Claire. Poor Claire, my roommate who has quarantine. And I don't know if my host mom has, or has COVID. So we will see what happens. But this looks like a really good place and I'm excited. And then tomorrow I leave for Graz. The, um, Graz Austria and that will be really fun. So, yeah. So I just have to talk about this lady who took me in. That is Jennifer and Ivy's host mom. And she is so nice and so understanding. And she wrote out this whole note for me on how to get from place to place. Even though I already researched it, it's really nice to have her. And she is just so kind. Like. I'm so grateful to people who try to help in any way they can when there's a difficult situation going on and COVID is a difficult situation so I'm just super grateful and I woke up um, later than Ivy and Jennifer because they're going to grass and I wasn't and so yeah I'm not going anymore because I have to take a test crazy stuff but she was just talking to me and she left out breakfast and even though it was like 11.30 when I came down so so kind I'm just I feel really blessed taken care of and I'm really grateful. So I'm gonna go get a big COVID test and um, let's see how the rest of the day goes. Okay, I just got done with COVID testing. It was super fast, but guys, like today has been crazy. <laughs> Um, 
I really see God's hand today because it is 101 o'clock and that's exactly when the COVID testing center closes and it's right behind me. And I barely made it at 12.55 <laughs> and I had totally gone across the street because my roommate had said that it was on across the street of the Apoteca and there's an Apoteca down here on this side of the street but it apparently is on the same side. Thank goodness there was a guy in that building and I asked him corona testing. Well, first I asked him to speak the English and he's like, ah, nine select. Like, not, he's bad at it. And then I was like, oh, corona testing. He's like, oh, over there. And he's like, Chanel, Chanel, it closes soon. And I was like, yeah, it's not good. And then I started running across and I barely made it. Um, and then earlier on the train, so the guy, when I came out of the station, first I had gone down on the wrong side, then I had to come back up and go on the other side. And he was asking everyone who's coming up for their tickets. And I was like, oh, of course, let me go find mine. And it, I was rummaging through my bag for a good five, maybe like six minutes. Like, and he was just like increasingly getting more impatient and I felt so bad. And it got to the point where he was just like, ah, oh, it's okay. And like, he tried to ask me what type of ticket I had and he didn't really speak English that well. And, um, and tried to explain to him that I was on study abroad and it just language barrier, you know, so I asked if I could sit down and just keep going through my bag because I know I had to get it's so weird because I have everything else that I need, including my like license, my passport, my art pass, my art museum pass and like the institute card for phone numbers. But for some reason, I didn't have my train pass, which is what I need. And so it was so crazy. Um, and this doesn't happen, but he was just like, OK, you can go. Um, it's okay and I've heard so many stories of people who don't have their past and then like they find you a lot um, It doesn't matter if you're from the US or something. They're um, pretty strict about it But for some reason this guy let me go and I am very grateful It's been a crazy day and I can't believe I made it right on time for COVID testing. I kept saying a little prayer on the way on the bus and on the train, like, please help me. I actually started crying because I was so stressed out after the interaction with the guy asking for my ticket. But I don't know where it is. I just hope that the rest of the day is okay and no one asks for my ticket because it has to be like in my bag at home, which I'm actually on the street for. Now I will go have a nice day in Vienna. I'm gonna go find a wallet to keep all my stuff organized and I'm gonna find a fan and I'll probably go to the art museum, get some food. Yeah, crazy day. I just went to the Apoteca and I got Claire some cough drops and I got me some allergy medicine. Yeah, so today I'm just going to go and find some souvenirs and whatnot and maybe go to the, the museum and go to Stefan Plotz and find a fan. And it's just going to be a really chill day. So just a day by myself in Vienna.
on bratwurst. Five. In the bun. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all. Five to ten. The History Museum was closing soon, so I decided to go explore and find Stotts Park, which is the city park. So here I am. I think I'm just gonna edit my vlog, the one that you're watching right now, and just chill. should help me do that. <laughs> test results and I am negative so that's good and then Teresa doesn't want me moving back in until Tuesday this week today or next week today is Saturday and so um right before I go I'm just gonna take my own little COVID test just to make sure um but I should be completely fine so today um Ivy, Jennifer and I, Caroline and Grace and Samuel and Colleen we're all going to some palace. <laughs> I forgot what it's called, but it should be really cool. So I'm excited.
Okay. I mean, obviously, I have this flower for you, so like, Aww. here you go. <laughs> She's like, oh. And we got you this little dessert that kind of got thrown around in your bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, thank you. And this juice for your immunization. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, yeah. thank you so much. Of course. And here's a card. You Aww. don't need to read it now, though, but. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're thinking about you. Guys, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much.